What's up guys, today we're talking all about the denim shirt. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slange. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today we are talking about the denim shirt. So when we say denim shirt, we mean actual denim, chambray, anything that happens to look like a denim shirt. There's a million different ways to weave it and it all kind of looks like denim, but they're all different materials. So let's just put that out there. Right now, these are not actually all denim shirts, but they do look like denim shirts. Yeah, so back in the day, denim shirts were essentially just a work shirt. Like they were made thick and strong and were meant to, you know, kind of take a beating doing manual labor. And now they've kind of made their way into more of a lifestyle product. So the fabric's gotten thinner, lighter, more breathable. You know, they don't need to take as much of a beating, but they still have that kind of workwear vibe to it. So going on to the classic silhouette of a denim shirt right here, we have this by Mango, which I picked up when I was in Spain. I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Mango. I, it's, it's like Zara. It's like Zara. It's like, they're, they're like Zara's big brother. Um, the shirt right here is only about 60 bucks. So it's it's like your, it's not premium, but it is still, it's still a hefty penny for a, a denim shirt. This right here is like a classic design with the two pockets and it has like that pearl buttons, you yeah. know, I guess you could say. A little Western vibe. Western, but still not too Western because the silhouette is very fitted, it's very tailored. So you could wear this with like jeans, you could wear it with trousers. I typically would wear it with, uh, just by itself with maybe a shirt underneath. So I'm gonna be honest guys, Blake's, these are all Blake's shirts. Yeah, I'm, um, a, I'm a big denim guy. He's a big denim shirt guy. This shirt that I'm wearing, um, it's from Obey. So if that tells you anything, I think I got this shirt about 10 years ago, literally. So it's lasted me a long time and I do wear denim shirts on occasion, but I do kind of only wear them I mean, one type of way. Yeah, so, I mean, George likes denim shirts, but then he doesn't. He has that love hate relationship, okay? So now, talking I, about- I mean, hey, wait, wait, I do, I do like denim shirts, I do. Trust me, I wore the crap out of this shirt, but I only wear it one way. Like Blake will mix it up with a suit with some corduroy pants, but for me, I'm pretty much a denim guy, so no matter the color of the denim shirt, I'm gonna wear a contrasting color denim. So either black, white, or like extremely dark wash blue denim. That's like my uniform. I'll either do it with Chelsea boots or white Plain. sneakers. Hey, or throw a jacket on top, but that is, that's how I do it. It's honestly the easiest way and how I recommend you all start out wearing denim shirts because Blake's like more of the- Yeah, I mean, I mean it's- The graduation. It's it's, it's good to start very conservative, very vanilla, but as you Thanks. start having more style, you, you need to like go out of that. So up here I have an H&M shirt. This was actually one of my first denim shirts that I got when I started changing from like that cowboy look to more of like a tailor look. So this is like your classic Oxford, but it's chambray or denim, you know? Very, fit, very fitted, you can wear it with the suit. You don't need a tie because it has the, uh, the, button, the button downs. But you can. I would skip the tie and just wear it as is. Um, again, it's really it's really fitted. It's only about twenty five bucks, dude. So H and M has great steals. I mean, take advantage of it. Try it. See if it's your style. If you want to test it out, H and M is this a great is, testing ground. And this is from their premium cotton. Okay, I don't know how much better it is, but to me, I don't mind it. I rock it. I don't care what people say. As long as it makes me feel good, I'm wearing it. Up next, guys, we have. This is from Express. This is again, more of your cowboy vibe, but super light wash, okay? So this could almost be like some sort of jacket of sort. I use it as a layering piece. It's, um, I always pop the collar just to give it like a more of a, you know, more of a- A Fonzie vibe. Yeah, but not so cowboy-ish, dude. I like it, dude, it's really chill. Express, they have killer fucking sales, dude. Sometimes their stuff goes like 50% off. So if you see it at 50 bucks, it'd be 25 bucks. Right. Just saying, just saying, dude, right, just saying. So I'm gonna talk about this one now. Go ahead, go ahead. So this one from Eton is probably, the. this is the only type of shirt or style of shirt that I would suit up. Because it's bougie, okay guys? Hey, no, 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 not, not because it's bougie, but just because I like, the, I like the collar is cut, you know, it's a spread collar. So it kind of, even though the shirt is super, super casual and doesn't really fit with a suited vibe, at least the collar has more of a high-end finesse feel yeah. to it. So you still, it feels like it belongs there even though it might be like, you know, 
kind of out of place, but it still is doing a little bit of something to fit in. Yeah, I think if you're, if you're in the workplace, you can easily wear this underneath your suit with a tie and uh, it'll look just fine. Or you could take off the jacket on the weekends, show the pocket, you know, undo the, undo the, the collar, have it be a little bit more chill, right? I mean, even, you know, a pair of chinos, a belt, tie tucked in, you're yeah. good to go. So this is a little bit more on your higher end side. It's about 250 for the shirt. It's again, this is this is like the top of the line. Eton makes amazing shirts, dude. I mean, yes. I mean, I could say it, you could say it. Dude, they're probably the best shirts on the market right now. Best off the rack, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now, uh, today I'm wearing this Ralph Lauren. It's a classic Ralph Lauren chambray. It's still very contemporary, very chill. I like it, I wear it with white trousers, with denim, I wear it with a suit, I wear it all different ways, and I always get tons of love. People seem to like love Ralph Lauren. So these shirts don't just come in blue, we just happen to have a lot of blue today. They have white, black, you know, any shade of the, the spectrum you can think of. I've even seen like a red chambray. Yeah, I love that one. Which dude. actually yeah, yeah. is pretty, pretty cool. Um, but one thing to think about when you are styling a denim or chambray shirt is that, you know, it kind of just, elevates the style of shirt you're wearing. So if it's a button down or an Oxford or you know even like a Western shirt, the texture of the shirt is what's gonna make kind of an extra statement on yes. top of just the color. So you know it's got a little bit of a grit to it, gives a little more interesting look. So I think the denim shirt is pretty much a good in between from like a t-shirt to a dress shirt. So it's like not quite formal, but then it's not casual, you know, and, and it's not an Oxford. Right. It's like in its own category. Yeah, it's 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 like the casual version of an Oxford. Like if you wear if like Oxford is the casual version for work, a chambray shirt is the formal version for the bar. Yeah, and I think it works anywhere. First date, it's perfect. I think um, a festival, it's great. Yes. Hanging out with the boys, it's a win. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up our video on denim shirts. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you some inspiration on how to style them. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. Don't forget, we are on Instagram at Gents Lounge. Give us a follow. Leave us some comments over there, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.